So I always start off my interviews asking where you were when you heard about Pearl Harbor, but you were actually there, weren't you? Right. Right, okay. Right, right aboard the West Virginia. So how did you not only survive Pearl Harbor and World War II, and then also you're, what, 96? 97. 97. So you, how, how did you make it that long? My faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Wow. The power of the Holy Spirit is what guided me in everything I did and said. Wow. Thank you for taking your time out with you me bet. today. I appreciate it. You bet, Wyatt. Born February 12, 1809, he grew up poor in a log cabin, and he was raised on the frontier. One of the most important Americans in history, Abraham Lincoln. I'm Wyatt Roos, and this is History's Icons. Let the show begin. A veteran of the Black Hawk War. The Battle of Sycamore Creek, May 14, 1832. June 16, 1832, fought at the Battle of Kellogg's Grove, a group of Illinois militia forces against a band of 80 Native Americans. A self-educated man who then became a lawyer, Illinois state legislator, and U.S. congressman. In 1854, he became the leader of the new Republican Party, running for president in 1860, becoming possibly the greatest president in American history. His anti-slavery beliefs was one of the things that had helped him get elected. The southern states were not happy and began to secede from the Union to secure their independence. The new Confederate states fired on Fort Sumter starting the Civil War April 12, 1861. The bloody war would rage on until April 9th, 1865. The total number of men killed was near 618,222, but recent numbers have been figured to be closer to 700,000. With the passing of the Emancipation Proclamation September 22nd, 1862, he freed enslaved African Americans in the southern states. If a slave could escape from the control of the Confederate government, either by running across Union lines or through advancing federal troops, the slave would be freed forever. On April 14, 1865, just days after Robert E. Lee's surrender at Appomattox, Lincoln and his wife were watching the play Our American Cousin at Ford's Theater. When the Southern sympathizer, John Wilkes Booth, a coward and a traitor, came into Lincoln's box seat, he walked up behind the president, put a 44 caliber Derringer to the back of the president's head, and fired. Lincoln died the following day at the Peterson House across the street from Ford's Theater at 7.22 a.m. He achieved the impossible. He freed the slaves and reunited the country as a union. And that is why Abraham Lincoln is one of history's icons. If you like what you saw here, please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any further episodes of history's icons. And please support us on Patreon. I'm Wyatt Roos, and thank you for watching, and we will see you next week.